What up, what up? Oof. Welcome in. Today we have the Nintendo Direct. Um, this came out on the 18th. Today is the 24th. So obviously I'm a little behind. Um, I haven't seen anything. I have been spoiled just a little bit. Um, I know that there's like a Mario and Luigi game or something like that. I think I heard something about Donkey Kong, but I don't know if it's an actual like new game or whatnot. And then maybe a new Zelda game, I think is what I've heard. So I don't know anything really about this direct. Um, this is all going to be live. Obviously, you guys have seen this probably a billion times by now. I haven't seen it yet, and I wanted to bring this as my first reaction to you guys just to kind of see like what I like and whatnot. Um, so we're going to get into it. If you guys like my reaction to it, you know, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, all of that. You know, if you guys like it, whatever, you guys know what to do. It is what it is, but let's get into it. This is a 42-minute direct, so it's kind of long. So hopefully they got some good stuff for us. But yeah, if you guys have already seen this, let me know down in the comments below what you're most excited for. Let's me some Mario right off the bat. The fire flower, bud. Good catch. Mario and Luigi. Okay. Is this a co op or is it just a single player, two character type game? Honey. This is kind of a cool mix. It's like a platformer, almost like Paper Mario graphics, but better, obviously. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's so like Paper Mario battling style. I wonder if this is co-op. I feel like it has to be with those command functions going back and forth between the brothers. Brothership, all right. November 7th. Ooh. Shinji Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Mario and Luigi Brothership. We always look forward to the seafaring adventures that unfold across mysterious islands, as well as evolved Bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Okay. Let's see the first batch of headlines. Bring the championships home or on the go. The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Wait, we're going to have an actual competition? Speed running challenges from across 13 NES games, from lightning fast feats to action packed battles. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboard. Oh wow, that's actually kind of cool. More difficult, less in challenges. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Stuck on a less in challenge? Check out classified. I watch a lot of speedrunners, especially in the Mario world. Put your skills to the test. This will be interesting to see these guys actually do it. Like Pangea and Flower Power, Mitch. Mitch Flower Power. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? 
Nintendo World Championship, NES Edition, launches on Nintendo Switch. That's interesting. That'll be fun. I have other speedrunning goals in mind this year, though, so I probably won't be going for anything crazy on that. Yeah, I like that cartridge, though. That was dope. It's pretty cool. I never got into Fairy Tale. I started watching in like three or four episodes of it and decided that uh, it's going to be a lot. So I decided to finish some other things first before I got into it. So it'll probably be a while before I actually watch any Fairy Tale. Oh, that's cool. You can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. Interesting. The more enemies there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. That's a uh, unique. I like that. Let them go. Now. Let us change the world together. Fantasia Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. Basketball is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. Using motion control. Try out three point challenge solo and score as many baskets as you can within the time limit. Up to four players can also compete in five streak battles. Besides local play, you can team up with players worldwide in two on two online matches. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> Basketball was never my thing. I had a nickname that involved can't shooting, so <laughs> not a basketball guy. Dig the art of this already, whatever it is. Yeah, this has some Hollow Knight vibes. Memories in orbit. I'll dig that. It's an array of cartoon and classic. That's really cool. I like that. I'd I'd be interested in that one. Monarch's greatest detective is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help. In the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monarch, uncover ancient evidence scattered throughout the world, then use the dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the 
the end. Start sleeping because with free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Island Adventures Away. Customize your character. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. And team up with your new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when Hello Kitty Island Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. Not my thing. Let's get loony in this wacky sports game. Play as Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, and more across four arcade-style sports. Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four-player local co-op. But watch out for falling ambush. Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports crashes onto Nintendo Switch this fall. I might be in like the 0.1% of people in the world who actually never played Among Us. I was just, in 2020, it just wasn't the thing that I wanted to play. I think there was like Fall Guys we played a little bit, but it was Animal Crossing for me. Like we, me and my friends, that's all we do is play Animal Crossing. Reign of the underworld. Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against the Magus's army. How many can you have? Then cultivate and harvest them to make your buddies come to life. Now you grow monsters? That's kind of cool. There's probably some really cool like speed run or like challenge runs with this game. Like using just one type of monster for the entire run and stuff. That's kind of cool. That might be something we'd look into. Okay, so here's the Donkey Kong. Okay, so it's not new. Hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana horn. Obstacles in the way? Just stop them. Pound them. And roll on through. Each level is filled with hijinks, but they're no match for these top bananas. From Manic Mine Park. Flying rocket barrels. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of transportation methods available. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. 80 of Cuban levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Oh, that's cool. I don't think I've ever played that one, but I did play a lot of Donkey Kong uh, Country. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these cars. Next, please take a look at this. The time is nigh. Yeah, we're 
awakening draws near. Dragon Quest, another remake. Journey with allies to face the arch fiend. On an ever I feel like this would be a good game to turn into a movie. Just like the lore behind it, dragons, the whole Middle East, Middle Age sort of stuff. Seems really cool. And formidable monster galore. An iconic RPG remade in HD TV. Forge your own path. I feel like they'd have to do it like Lord of the Rings style and not like Dungeons and Dragons or uh, Warcraft. Those ones kind of, I don't know, they weren't as good. And I feel like this game has the potential to be, be similar to uh, like Lord of the Rings style. November 14th. It's weird they're doing the third one before the first and second one. Oh, oh so they did it on purpose. <laughs> I never played them, so I don't know how the story goes, but maybe 3 is like the prequel. Thank you, Mr. Boy. We hope you're excited to play the entire Urbit trilogy, now in HD TV. Let's continue with more adventure. Let's have some fun. A Funko Pop game? <laughs> Guess it's only a matter of time, right? Great Scott. Is that Marty McFly? The world of Funko is coming to life in this action adventure mashup for the ages. Play with more than 60 characters as you explore locations based on over 20 iconic movies, TV shows, and more. Use special skills and crafted gadgets. <laughs> Was that Shaun of the Dead? Yo, and I thought that was Scott Pilgrim when they said Marty McFly. I felt like that was a Scott Pilgrim thing. I mean, I highly doubt that this Nintendo would mess up that, but it looked more like Scott Pilgrim. I know Marty McFly plays some uh, guitar in the, the movie and whatnot, but I mean, that's Scott Pilgrim's thing, the bass. Away 
in the tower defense installment of the Metal Slug series. Take control of your forces and pulverize enemy strongholds in threes. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities. And build out your deck to win tactical tuckers. You can also slug it out with other players in online battles. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. Embark on an expedition of the damned in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Fight off nightmarish humans in turn-based combat. And upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. Darkest Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Pre-orders begin later today. Ooh. Play Link's classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past Four Swords. Experience the remake of Samus' first adventure in Metroid Zero Mission. Plus, coming to the new Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus Collection of Games. What? Yo, some Turok. I've been saying for years they need to make that into a movie. Ooh, Perfect Dark. Let's go. Oh, that's sick. The N64 games are hard to play on the Switch controllers. It's like you actually need the N64 controller. This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. I will take all of this back. Join her on a journey to save her friend, Ash. <laughs> with objects in various ways. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Combine with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. So I've been watching One Piece and been digging all the pirate stuff lately. So that's cool for that. Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Clash in X-Men versus Street Fighter. Duke it out in Marvel versus Capcom 2 New Age of Heroes. Oh, that was my <clears throat> my actual arcade game back in the day. Oh, that's cool. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people into that. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music from each game. Marvel versus Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classic launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Mario Party. Game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest. Wait, is this a new Mario Party? Games yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. First, let's see some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. Take the escalator to travel 
the two tours in Rainbow Galleria. Use in-game coins to get a star for half price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track to roll them this way. With the new Turbo Dice Up, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. What? So that's something we will be playing for sure. installment in the Mario Party series, Super Mario Party Jamboree, with new boards, minigames, 20-player online gameplay, and more, get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. And now, please take a look at this. What? This is Zelda? Straight up. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Link's dead. Wait, do we have to play as Zelda and save Link? Iconic. Gotta have the uh, standing on the mountaintop, like uh, across the whole thing. Echoes of Wisdom. Dude, if we're playing as Zelda and not Link this time, that's actually amazing. Hello everyone. I'm AG Alanuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. Let's go. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. 
You might be surprised at what you discover. This is actually pretty dope. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock at them, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. That's sick. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. That's a piranha plant. Dude, this is gonna be fun. The fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the echo ability of this channel, Princess Zelda's Wisdom. There are a lot of echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. Yeah, this is 100% like going to be a fun game to stream and watch other people stream and their YouTube playthroughs of it because everybody's going to do something different. And then seeing like challenge runs and speed runs of it, that's gonna be a dope game. Now, I'd like to return this moment I had stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Thank you, Mr. Aoyama. Please look forward to your newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. I am, for sure. I gotta play some other Zelda games first before that comes out, but that's that's gonna be fun to play. That that style right there reminds me of Jujutsu Kaisen, the ending theme. A new Lego adventure is on the horizon. It's the world of Horizon in Lego form. Join the Sea Hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world from its ancient people. Oh, dope. Journey through rough landscapes. Dive deep into the cauldron. One of my old mods would love this. And traverse other locations inspired by the original game. But be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity bombs to hunt them down. From the nimble watcher to mighty Sasu. You might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. As you progress, you can help Aloy rebuild her home and customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. Lego Horizon Adventure launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Know so many people are like, oh my god, this poor kitty. Separated from their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone known as B12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest heights. Create new paths for your 
yourself and stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. Careful, though. Not everyone is excited to have you sleeping around, including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world and make your way back to safety. And I wish I was like I'm not immortal, but able to live long enough to see the world when like robots are a commonality thing. I love some Lord of the Rings, but I don't know if this would be my thing. That's pretty cool. From your investigation to explore the gallery, where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th. Pre orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. It's a cool storyline. I guess that'd be in a really cool uh, like manga or anime. Timeline battles, where the action order is key. 
Being a good teacher of West United's attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Romancing Saga 2, Revenge of the Seven, launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. We hope you're excited to experience the full rumor of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. All right, what do we got? <clears throat> Slug song? Hundred percent not Slug song. Metroid? Yup. Yeah, first person shooter Metroid. I was wondering how they were going to do the ball thing. Prime for Beyond. Pretty dope. That was a close look at Metroid Prime Four. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. The release is planned for 2025, but please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. Probably like another year. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. All right. Well, there you guys have it. My first reaction of the direct from the 18th. Um, let's see here. I think out of all of those, obviously the Zelda, um, Echoes of Wisdom, top of the list. Uh, Mio looked really cool. That um, Silk Song. What's the original game? I, I can't even think of the original game right now. That that game looks really dope. Same sort of style as it. It's a Hollow Knight. That's, that's what I was looking for. Um, the Mario game's not too bad. Obviously, Mario Party, that's going to be sick. Um, I, a lot of people on the channel play that. We've played it a couple of times live with people, so that'll be really fun. Playing with viewers and other streamers. So that'll be really cool. Um, but other than that, I think like the Brotherhood might be fun. They didn't really say if it was co-op or anything like that, so I'm kind of curious how that's going to work. But I mean, you guys have been around the channel. You know that we play Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon some other smaller things like hollow knight so that's what we're gonna play but all right guys that's what i got i appreciate you watching and um see you on the next video later